This is uh, one of Mr. William Collins's first stick tang knives. So you've got a very sharp pointed area. You've got a uh, Scandinavian grind. You do have a 90 degree angle at the bottom, at the spine. You've got thumb scallops, a really comfortable handle. This is in red oak, and so you know it's going to last a long time. 01 tool steel. bark removed. Let me dig in. I'm going to make an L7 notch. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my blade at a 90 degree angle, brace it, and rock as I push in. I'm going to come back from it a couple of inches, one or two, and then very delicately go towards that cut. And the closer I get to it, the more delicate I become, where that last little bit may not, so that I don't push through it. I want it to stop at that first rock. So sometimes you have to go back and rock down again. But you've got to make sure that you don't push through. So doing it delicately, I've already gotten halfway there. First, first, first half of the L7 notch combination. Now I've got a little bit of a ramp to it, where the top is back further and the bottom is coming closer, which makes it easy to slip off. So I'm going to invert it a little bit and press in. make sure that notch is not prematurely tripped. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna do a power, power cut. Ready? This knife is amazing. This is actually one of my favorites all time that I've ever owned in my entire life. I'm not saying that I've owned a lot of knives. But the knife that I have on. I really like this one. This is, this is absolutely wonderful. Digs hard when I want it to dig hard. Or doesn't when I don't want it to all based upon the angle that I give it. And that's what you want your knife to do. You want it to cut hard and deep, but only when you want it to. Let's get in here with a little, little tip. So I'm gonna do a rolling cut. This is good for creating shoulders. Yeah, like spoon carving and stuff like that. And that tip, because it's so thin, is what allows you to do that rolling motion. Because you can't really roll back here. Your blade gets in the way. Up here it doesn't do that. Gives 
your little shoulder. This thing is a cutting beast. There we go. Let's do a beaver chew real quick. One, two, three, four. So, I like a dangle type of sheath, but I don't like a D-ring dangle, right? So, I like the uh, old, old English style of dangling. <laughs> Weird way to say it. But, so what I'm going to do here is... Do a square knot. down here bring it across put it inside Bring it across here. I'm going to pinch it as it crosses over. Bring it back up. Put it inside that. This kind of gives a modified clove hitch. It makes it dangle just like that. 